Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today, we've got this backpack blower here. It's a friend of mine's. I talked about it a little bit about it in the last video uh, on my free stuff video. This is my friend Ryan's. Uh, he bought it off me like three, three and a half years ago, and he's been running it. And just one day he went to start and wouldn't start. We in the last video we pulled this plug out and looked at it. So it looks like he's replaced the plug because I don't remember putting that plug in it. I don't know what you guys are seeing. I'm trying to stay out of your light, but. Uh, so we're, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check it for spark. The fuel looks good in it. There's a little bit, there's not a lot, but the fuel does look good. I'm thinking I rebuilt the carburetor or something on this. Uh, I believe I did a video on it before he bought it off of me. I can't even remember where I got it um, Just trying to That could be clogged. It doesn't look bad, it just needs clean. Uh, it is a little dirty inside of here. All right, guys. So, first thing let's do, let's check it for spark. And then we'll, we'll go see what we can do from there. Hang tight. Okay guys, so I know I'm in the, kind of in the shade here, I just want to, I got to see if this light's going to work. This light will tell me whether I've got spark to the plug. It's not going to tell me if the plug's sparking or not, but let's see, this should light up. I'm not seeing it. Could be, you know, maybe my bulb's blown in my tester, I don't know. But we can also do the same thing with a test light. This one should beep, it's getting spark. It'll also light up, but I won't be able to see the light. Sounds like the recoil needs some work. All right, well, I'm not seeing any signs of spark, so let's go ahead and I'm going to touch this and it should get shocked because I'm holding on to this and touching that plug. It's got spark, it should shock me. I feel it very weak and then it's gone. So I don't know the switch, it's just a momentary switch on the top of here. You just hold it until it shuts off and let go. Uh, So I may have to pull this whole side cover off here. I gotta check this uh, this recoil anyway. So I think what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get the bits I need for this. We're gonna take the side cover off. Well, oh, dang. We're gonna take the side cover off. There's no points in this thing. So we'll take the side cover off. We gotta check the recoil anyway. We're gonna take all these screws out. We're gonna pull this, this off. And we're gonna check that switch first. It's very rare, but I have seen them where they'll like stick inside the contacts, but I felt a weak spark and then I felt no spark. So let me get let me go get my tools for this they look like they're all the same a couple way down in here too and let's get this side cover off of here that way I can get to that switch I can check this recoil now the recoil is on this side it looks like I don't know let's tear it apart okay guys so I think I can get 
most of these with this thing except those two down there I'll have to switch over to this yeah I can't remember what the issue was with this okay guys so we know this thing's run this thing runs and I can tell you right now it needs fuel lines I don't see any fuel lines they should go in right here this needs a primer bulb I have no idea what that shit is. Here's part of the old fuel line down in here. There's the filter. This is the coupler, it's all gummed up. When I got it. But, I'm sure wasn't anything major. Thinking it might have had a carburetor issue. I'd, have, I'd just have to go, I'd have to look over the my footage. And again, I don't know for sure how long ago it was. I know it had to be three years now. That's weird that they got you know one here one here and then right there and right there so they got like that that far apart weird all right now let's switch over to this I'm trying to stay out of your light the best I can so there's really no way we can mix these up So I remember, I think I was going to keep it. The monkey bought that electric one. And I ended up selling it. I'm pretty sure it's a vac. Like a vacuum too. Because this will open up here for another attachment. Got nowhere with that. We did get to the switch. Here's the switch. We did get to that. I mean, is that a ground? How's that going to ground? That's that's in plastic. How's that even ground? You can't ground. That, I don't understand that. That's all plastic. Well, let's unplug this. Let's see if we got spark now. Let me stick something down in here. Not feeling any spark. So, I guess what we'll do, we'll pull the side off of here, get down in here. I think I just pulled, well, I didn't, I wanted to check that switch. Um, I think it's a spark issue. That thing should have been zapping me. And it wasn't. That time I didn't feel nothing, not even a, a little bit. Or I should say I didn't feel anything. And those are Torx. Well, wait, there's one down here. This may, this tank may not have to come off. Find out where the 
should be another screw. Nope. All right. A little bit of leakage there. Looks like maybe the head bolt needs to be tightened up on it. But that's not going to tell me why there's no spark. Yeah, I see the head gasket's been leaking there. Okay, let me get a bigger size of this. We'll check it out. Inside here's your crank. Sometimes if it blows this seal, they won't run, but that's not telling me why there's no spark. That head is definitely loose, look at that. Still, why is there no spark? All right, let me get the right size bit. Okay, I actually have my bits out here. Oh, look at that, I'm turning that. I'm turning that by my hand. Why would that come loose? I never had to head off of this, guys. That must be, that's the next size up. This size is too small. two of the same size that's why that's what's going on there okay all right I gotta go find the right bit this one's too big all right hang tight okay so got me a little setup made here I mean that'll definitely make it not run or at least run funny you know but that, that's got nothing to do with spark that's supposed to come out there we go can we get down in here No, we can't. Um, all right, let me come up. Let me see, let me go get a regular, a regular Allen. These are just Allen heads. Let me get a regular Allen head and stick down in that other side. I know it's loose too because the whole head was moving. Still don't explain the spark deal. And I still don't understand. This has to ground up. What I don't this is plastic how can it ground somebody explain that to me all right guys so i decided i gotta take this this off so i can get to that that head bolt up here which i'm going to use this on but this is kind of hindering me so we gotta pull this fan off there's a couple screws there i don't know if there's any behind here Yeah, there's two there. So we'll go ahead and get those off. If I can find my setup I was using. Uh, okay, those are Torex. Man, <laughs> I'll be back. All right, we're back. I'm back. You guys have been here. I am going to set these aside. I think they're a little different. So what we're what we're doing essentially is pulling the engine which these blowers are just pretty much an engine with a fan on it <laughs> all right so i'm going to go ahead and take this gas tank off and i believe the engine should just pull out of here
Just unhooking from the carburetor here. Well, at least we can get down. Well, that feels pretty good now. I'll shoot some oil in it. I may have to adjust this coil. Coil might be bad. First, let's tighten this head bolt up before we forget. Make sure this one's tight. I'm sure it's probably going to need a head gasket. But sometimes you can get by with them not blowing or you know <laughs> yeah well essentially yeah not blowing i should be able to spin this and feel spark and I'm not so i'm gonna clean these magnets up and readjust this coil looks like a pretty big gap there let me get some uh sandpaper i'll clean this up and then I'll try to adjust it again. Okay guys, so we're gonna set this coil. I'm gonna bring it around. Uh, this is what I like to use. You can use feeler gauges if you want. <laughs> uh, a lot of guys will use a business card, matchbook, but who carries matches anymore? Also, hardly, you know, if you don't smoke, you're not gonna have a cigarette box cigarette pack. Okay, so now all I gotta do is loosen this coil up. And once I loosen it, it should drop right up against there, right up against the magnets. And that card, that cardboard there will give us the gap we need. And there it goes, it's up against it. Just gonna make sure. Now I like to hold it up against there because sometimes when you go to tighten these bolts, it'll back off just a little bit. Most of the time it won't. The magnets are pretty strong. Alright. Now. I may put the drill on here and spin this over with the plug in it. And, but usually you go like this and you can feel it. I'm not feeling any kind of spark. Oh, I'm not touching metal. Oh, yeah, what? Well. All right, I'm gonna spin that over with the drill. Don't use a hammer on it, use a drill. I'll spin it over. And we'll see. See if it's got any spark. Well, that didn't do us any good. Let me grab my drill. I don't know if I want to hold on to that or not. Um, let's put the spark plug in so I don't get shocked. Wherever I put it, there it is. I should see some spark here. No spark. Am I going the right direction? Yeah, I'm feeling no spark at all. I don't have a coil like that, unfortunately. I'm gonna unplug this just in case. You never know. No 
spark. Huh. Well, the only thing I can do with that is change the coil. And I don't have one. I'll go look, but I don't think I do. Sit tight, guys. All right, guys. So I did away with this plug. I got a plug out of the other backpack blower, and I just unscrewed it because I guess no one tightens spark plugs anymore. But this thing has got a major spark now. I took, uh, I took the coil off. And I cleaned it it was rusty because I wouldn't even get in a spark with this one which I showed you guys but for some re reason you wasn't watching or you wasn't looking probably maybe because I didn't turn turn you on but now nice pretty blue spark I don't know let me zoom in on here see if you guys can see that now Oh yeah. Looking right here. Right here on the top of that. plug but it is sparking so I'm going to clean that up and we'll get this put back together I did shoot some oil down into the recoil that should be good to go so let me get this uh, spark plug clean and then we'll put it back together we'll see if it runs now okay guys we're going to put this back together still got spark a clean spark spark plug up uh, I brought this out to check the gap. I was going to tell you what the gap of that plug is. I think it's about 30 thousandths. Can't read this uh, feeler gauge. So, all right. Now, I'll speed you up. Let's put this back together. All right, guys, sorry about that. I shut you off. I don't know why, but I did. All right, get our throttle hook back up here. Forgot that one washer. I don't know if you saw that or not, being in fast forward, but one washer, I, I don't know why I put it down by the flywheel. It didn't belong there. what the other two screws are for down there at the bottom plus it helps hold it together okay I'm on it now
see that fall out. <sighs> Let me find out where it goes, but then we'll continue. Okay, I'm going to continue. I don't know where it came from. I don't even have a wrench or a socket out here that size. But it wasn't here on the table when I started, that's for sure. So where it came from, I do not know. <sighs> I do not know. Okay. I bet I'll run now. Alright, let's continue. feel calm I could feel the sweat inside my palms play with me like cats and a string you don't understand the pain it brings you don't ever want to give me wings you don't hi guys I found out where this goes it goes right in there it's for this thing Now, um, let's see if this thing will start first. Okay. Choke it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Explain to me how that switch is working like that. Uh, I don't think it's that ground. I think there's there's two little wires. I think they're switching up in there. I don't know what the ground's for because it's plastic. But all right, let's get this puppy back together. All right, we're gonna try this out here in just a second. I'm gonna go clean this off real quick and I'll be right back with you. Alright, so I gave it a gave it a quick rub down. Clean the filter. Alright, now let's put the snorkel back on it. Like I said, he uses this thing. He, he came down, he blew off our roof for us one time. Alright, so we're gonna put it there it is. Yeah, that nut. This goes right on the back of here. I was like, I know I didn't take anything out that size. Let's find some something to blow around.
200 miles an hour it says probably pretty close to it all right guys so there you go that was a pretty easy fix why that head came loose I don't know I, I've I've seen them loose before but I don't know why that would have but it did uh, as far as the spark goes I think it was just a bad spark plug because I can't get any spark out of that nice new shiny one but that one I took out of my backpack blower which now I gotta find a spark plug for <laughs> uh, worked in it and it, you saw it it was you know all carboned up and stuff two strokes you know they will carbon up it seems to be running good so anyway guys here's your second video of 2023 more to come so you know i know a lot of people are changing stuff on their channels i'm not changing anything i'm just going to keep doing what i'm going to do and posting when i post so hang with me guys you know i mean uh, i know it's hard to watch a video a day but it's hard for me just to post one a week man because like right now today i did two videos you know so um i'll put them both up because the first one was short but like i'll do two or three videos in a day and and i hate you know what i mean i like to be that day if i can if, if at all possible so anyway guys shea bear the myth the man legend i'm gone for now we'll see you guys in the next one have a great year everyone bye bye and take care